我都是我的路，迈是我的步。All right, guys. We are finally back with another live cop video. This has been a really dry month from month of January, and February finally started picking back up. We got the ambush dunk heist this time, and this is the I call it the Pepto Bismol colorway. It's full on pink called Fusia. It's the same dunk, uh, the one we copped early on with the black and white, but this one is just full on Fusia pink, and. LeBron wore it, so definitely hyped up the shoe, and obviously it's a nice collaboration, so people are gonna go for it, and the stock is relatively limited. So hopefully we'll do well. We got a TSB running, Wifey over there is running U sneakers, and I'm running Wrath as well for the Shopify drops, and let's see how we do. All right, here we go, almost time. All right, guys. I think that was it for us today. It's it's another tough drop. Uh, this dunk had around like what really limited stock on sneakers, and for Kith, it was around like 300 stock. So really happy with the fact that Wrath is able to help me cop two pairs. So very happy with the results, and uh, I'm really glad Nick from Wrath was able to extend my wrath rental for another month so definitely shout out to nick and the wrath team for letting me have this bot for another month and like i said i'm gonna make you guys proud and i've been copying so hopefully you guys can see how good this bot is like this is awesome i've used balco which give me a lot of success i've used cyber which give me decent success on shopify but wrath so far i have not missed on shopify since i started running well that's not true I missed on the no trade dunks, but that one didn't you couldn't really buy. So at this point, I'm just really happy with the results. And as you can see, I've had the bot for around a month now, and this is how much I was able to cop from Wrath alone. So you can see how good this bot is. And definitely shout out to the team. They have been working really hard at it, and the module is just mwah, perfect at this point. So thank you all so much. And uh, let's see how we do for later on. All right, guys. So today we have the Jordan 185 Neutral Grace dropping. This is an OG colorway. It's definitely a retro that a lot of people are hyping up about, and seems like it's going to be very limited. Also, the fact that this is one of the hype drops that finally started to kick things off in February. So definitely a good sign, and we got a ton of releases coming up in February. So. We're gonna try to go for it. Not a whole lot of size dropping yet. I know we have Snipe dropping, so I'm running Haya, and also TSB for Nike sneakers. I don't think Kith is dropping, but I have it set up right here. But I do know that Shop Nice Kicks is going to drop, so we're gonna try to go for that on Wrath, and let's see how we do. Okay guys, so today we have the Jordan 14 Clock collaboration. This is the collaboration with the Chinese founder uh, Edison Chen, and they've had several different high releases. One of them was the Jordan 1 Mid, a couple Air Force Ones, and this one is a Jordan 14 Terracotta. So if you guys don't know, Terracottas are these ancient kind of clay made soldiers that were buried with the first emperor of China. So pretty cool history behind it. and. 
they are making that a Jordan 14 low collaboration. So we're gonna try to go for some of these and it's gonna be hard, just like the neutral grace yesterday with the Jordan 1 neutral grace. I wasn't able to cop any on the neutral grace. For shop nice kicks, I started my task too late. For sneakers, no server issues this time, but I just couldn't cop. So we're gonna go for the sneaker drops on U sneakers, TSB, and Total Rule. Surprisingly, uh, they actually support sneakers now. So we're gonna try to go for that. It's going to be another very hard drop and see if we can come up with a W. I don't know, but we'll try. All right, here we go. Let's get ready. Yeah. Oh, let's go. We got one. Yes. Thank you. Yes. It has been a while since we got a Nike drop. My God, you sneaker. Thank you for coming through, man. Holy crap. I'm happy with the results. I think it's been a minute since I copped on sneakers app, period. So, you know, we had a pretty nice month in December of 2020 where we hit almost every single drop and then we fell right back down to earth. And now February, we finally got one on sneakers app. So nice, I can't complain. All right, so this weekend we got the Carmen Sixes. So supposedly they have a bunch of Things that are happening with Karma 6, there were some defects where like the colors bleeding into the missile. Uh, there were rumors that they might pull the entire stock and maybe re-release it or just not release it at all. There was a bunch of rumors going on, but so far it seems like they're still gonna drop on Saturday. So and let's see how we do. All right, here we go. I might lag out for a little bit because this is going to be pretty insane. So uh, we'll see how we do. Oh, let's go. We got one from Haya. Oh, finally. We got one here. Yep, one check out. Jesus, this took a while. Wow. Haya has been the one that's carrying me right now. Holy crap. Like, seriously. He has been carrying me. Okay guys, so I guess today didn't go as well as I would have liked. I think there's definitely some more tweaks I need to make when it comes to foot sites. Decent success. I was able to get around like 15, 16 checkouts. 
five or six of them got canceled hit two slots so uh for essential members i think the bot that worked out best for me on plus size today is uh haya they actually did really well for me i got around like 10 checkouts there a couple on prism one on easy cop a couple on rush actually uh and a couple on torpedo ganesh didn't do much for me today i'm not sure why and cyber didn't do well for me either i think i need to tweak a little bit more it's been a struggle and footside server along with the changes they're making just never been easy for me ever since that happened so and the shoes price is actually going up a lot so i'm gonna try to run for some restocks so obviously there are a few stores that have not dropped the stock yet foot action and champs they haven't even had their man sizes yet so once that comes in, I think the price might go down a little bit more. But at the same time, I think the shoe is definitely a must cop still. So anyway, I think I think it went okay. Obviously, I wanted to do better than that, but it's okay. I think this is a good start. You know, um, once this this will be a great time for me to go back to my setups and reflect on the things I didn't do well. And we got more drops coming up in February. We got the Dunks, we got Jordan 1, the Silver Toe, and then we have more Dunks, the Jordan 4 Toe Pays. So all these are good drops that are coming in. And um, this will be, this This is a great learning experience for us as well. So that's all it is. Um, yeah, if you guys have any more tips you can share, definitely leave it in the comment section below. I think that's all we have for this week. Hopefully you guys just enjoyed it. I know it's been really slow for the past few weeks. We finally got a live cut going and next week is going to be more drops and we're gonna have our first look at Supreme as well for next season. So a lot of good things happening. Um, hopefully you guys stay tuned and uh, let's roll into the unboxings. We got some unreleased sneakers to show you guys as well. All right, roll it. Hey guys, all right, so uh, we're gonna do a quick unboxing for you guys. Not a whole lot of shoes in terms of like height limited live cops. But as you can see here, we do have some inventories. These are mainly Jordan 1 mids and a couple unreleased sneakers I'm gonna show you as well. And uh, let's get to it. So first thing first, I wanna show you the last of the EZ 700 Suns. That was a bit of a cop. Uh, two of them came from EZ Supply relatively fast. They already sold. And then this one came from Kith. Let's take a look. So this is not my style, but I can see why people like it. It does have a lot of the original 700 wave runner elements in there you know with the uh, materials the same uh just the color is a little different right they have the bright orange midsole and then some of the yellows on the tongue um yeah i, I think it's okay it's a really limited shoe that's why the price is almost at 600 dollars now so i'm glad i was able to cop three so shout out to the wrath team again speaking of wrath we, was, we were also able to cop two of the nike dunk high ambush this one is, like I said in my video, a Pepto Bismol colorway. It's like all pink. So I haven't seen it in person yet, so let's take a look. You guys saw the black and white colorway, so you guys have an idea what it looks like. But, oh, okay. <laughs> Holy crap, this is pink. This is really pink. I mean, it's the exact same shoe as the black and white. You know, you got the ambush in the back heel. You got the really protruding, is that a word? Protruding um, Nike swoosh that's like extended out. Still really colorful, really nice shoe. The reason this is hyped up was I think, I believe LeBron actually wore this to a game once. So yeah, I think it's okay. It, the price is not doing too hot right now, but considering the circumstances, I think this is a pretty good cop for us as well. Yep. All right, so next we have a few of the Jordan 1 Miz I was able to cop either locally or online via some of the restocks on foot sites. And some of these I'm probably gonna hold for a little bit because I know they're gonna go up in value. For example, this is the Jordan 1 Mid band. I got like 10 of the GS sizes uh, from like Prism and Wrath. This is awesome. I have one pair I'm wearing, the, the man size, size 11 I'm wearing right now. And honestly, I think this is awesome colorway and for jordan one mid the material of it is actually really nice the color blocking is really awesome it's just 
it's nice, man. All right, a few more mids I just want to show you. This is the Jordan 1 Mid Hyper Royals. It's almost identical to the Band Mid, except it's got the blue color blocking instead of the red, the Chicago colorway. So I love blue, and uh, this gives me a feel of the Royal Toes. I was able to cop a few of the man sizes on Nike restock, and a few here on the GS sizes in the Foot Locker restocks. So yeah, here it is. This is the Jordan 1 Mid All-Star Weekends. This is also known as the Carbon Fiber. I think this is one of the prettier Jordan 1 Mids they've made so far. It's like a panda looking shoe. I think this one is real pretty. I mean, if you can see here, they got patent leathers on the side. They got these patent leather with carbon fiber material on the back. I love carbon fiber. I think carbon fiber is a really cool looking thing. And they made it really nice. You know, even the swoosh is carbon fiber here. And the one thing interesting to note is that they actually just have the Jumpman logo here. Instead of, I think it's Nike Air uh, on the tongue. So this is a pretty nice touch. And uh, yeah, I mean, even the, the embroider feels really nice here. I think this is a really cool looking Jordan 1 mid. If you look at it from straight ahead, it looks like a panda, right? So yeah, this is a pretty cool shoe. I was able to cop a few of these at my local uh, foot locker. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so that was some of the shoes that we you were able to see from my live cops. And then let's show you some of the shoes I was able to cop elsewhere. So number one thing I want to show you, this is, is a unreleased Jordan 1. Uh, it has not been released yet. It's going to be, I think, got pushed back till March or April. I can't remember the exact date. But this is the Jordan 1 High University Blue, or they call it UN UNC Blue. I was able to cop three of the uh, GS sizes. Uh, via the sneaker knockers. Uh, so shout out to them. They were able to provide some nice unreleased shoes, uh, but my God, look at this shoe. Like you see how it looks as really comfortable, really soft leather. It feels like how it looks, okay? Like I guarantee you this shoe is gonna pop. And then like the, 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 the ankle area support is really, really soft, like buttery smooth. Obviously it's not as soft as the shattered backboard, that's like the holy grail of Nike Jordan 1s. But honestly, this is really, really amazing. Like the material feels just awesome. I can't keep my hands off this shoe. It is a very cool cop. Um, yeah, I'm really glad I was able to cop a few of those. And now let's, let me show you the next unreleased sneaker uh, that's about to release in February. So this is the Jordan 4 Tope Haze. Is that what? Tope Haze? I think that's what they call it. Uh, this has not been, this got pushed back. It was originally supposed to release in January. Got pushed back till February 27th, but this thing is awesome as well. Oh my God, this, this is just a really crazy looking shoe. I love Jordan 4s. Jordan 1 is my favorite. Jordan 4 is my second favorite and then Jordan 3. And honestly, this is amazing quality as well. Uh, but this is a really awesome colorway. Again, I, I'm glad I was able to cop a few of these. I'm going to be able to sell these soon and uh, yeah, make a pretty good margin on these as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's episode. I know it's been a while since we've done a live cop video and unboxing, so I'm very happy that we're finally getting more releases coming out in February. And thank you all so much for your support. We're almost at 2000 subscribers, just amazing. So thank you all so much. And definitely shout out to my sponsors, especially Essentials by Saeed and Sisu CN. Uh, really cool groups. You guys should definitely check them out. And um, yeah, thank you all so much. Hopefully next week we'll do all as well. So in the meantime, keep it cool, keep it real, deserted. Peace out.